So, uh, my name is Greg, and um, I'm from the UK. Grew up in the UK, and my story is I had a lifetime of eczema. Um, some of you may know that as dermatitis, um, and other diseases related to that are psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, and things like that. So, I have a YouTube channel. It's called eczemahealing.org. It's right here on the back of the jersey. You can get that. And um, on my channel, I talk about how the plant-based lifestyle, and I call it a lifestyle, the plant-based lifestyle helped my skin and essentially healed my eczema. So on the channel, I talk about the other things that we come across in the world, such as steroids and um, SLS creams and all these other types of pharmaceutical techniques that people are using to try to heal their skin. Um, and I talk about why the only way to truly heal is to get away from all of those things and to start healing your body from the inside out. So what would you say the main cause of eczema is? The main cause is stress. So I talk about stress. Now, when I say stress, people immediately think of mental stress and emotional stress and those things for sure. But let's talk about digestive stress because that to me is the biggest form of stress. So stress in your body from food is so much bigger than stress in your body from mental or from emotional. So when, when you start to reduce the amount of stress uh, from food, so that's eating foods that are easy to digest, plant-based foods, high water content foods, uh, the, the body just starts to heal, the gut starts to get a break, a digestive rest, and your skin starts to heal as a result of that. Nice. Um, how long have you been plant-based? Uh, I, I kind of drifted into it. So dairy was the first to go, because you might already know that dairy is the worst thing possible for your skin. Um, and so I've, I've been, definitely I've been fully plant-based for about four years, but I kind of drifted into it from around about six years out. Okay. Have you been cycling uh, longer than you've been plant-based, or did that come afterwards? I was always on a bike. Um, in fact, when I was 11 years old, I won a bike for um, being safe on the road. Um, so I was always just riding around, but I probably got a road bike and started finding cycling friends and that sort of thing uh, around about two years ago, two or three years ago. So I got into the lifestyle in terms of food, um, hydration, better sleep, um, and I was running a little bit, but I got into cycling more two or three years ago. Nice. Um, so I know someone who's had eczema in their 30s and they've had it their whole life, pretty gnarly cases, uh, maybe especially when becoming pregnant. Um, my youngest daughter also has eczema, and from seeing one of your videos, I let her know that dairy is a cause of that. She still has dairy, but she doesn't have it super bad right now, but I can see it getting worse as she gets an adult. So you would say like maybe dairy would be the first thing to cut, and then... Yeah, you know. dairy's the first thing to go, and if people have a trouble with dairy, getting off dairy, then there's great transitional foods available for that. So if at the moment your recipes like say for example your oatmeal, you like to put dairy in that, then try a plant-based milk to begin with. And um, I'm not saying plant-based milks are the best things you can have because whole foods are going to get you the best results long term, but use these transitional foods to get you towards a whole foods plant-based lifestyle and um, your, your overall health will just start going to the next level. So we talk about eczema healing and the channel is called eczema healing, but really we're talking about creating overall health and the eczema goes away as a byproduct of that. Nice. And um, so how did you find out or how did you go about curing your eczema? Yeah, so like I said, the first thing to go was dairy. And um, I then got rid of gluten because I'd heard so much about gluten being a sticky grain uh, on the gut. I've since found out that as a, a whole foods plant-based eater, as a whole foods plant-based vegan, you can get away with a little bit of gluten because your body's not being stressed out from all the animal products. So I got animal products out of the diet and I got refined and processed foods out of the diet and I started eating foods in order of digestion and focusing on, on digestion. If you focus on digestion, start, start tracking your things like your bowel movements and uh, your sleep and keep a diary, keep a food diary of how your bowel movements, your digestion goes compared to what you're eating. Um, you get your digestion working really well, so that means two to three good bowel movements per day. Your eczema and your, your skin health is going to follow. It's going to follow on from that. Uh, so I 
focused on that. I focused on digestion and I made it fun along the way as well. So I tried to find foods that I was really enjoying. I love things like sweet potatoes. Um, I love to eat salads and quinoa and all these amazing foods out there that I didn't really know about before going vegan. I started bringing in all of those things and in terms of the other side of lifestyle like the cycling and the fitness and stuff, I just started making friends that, so that my social group became my healing group as well. And when it's fun, that takes care of motivation. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And uh, guys, I'm going to post a link uh, to his channel down below. You guys should check it out. And uh, thanks you very much. Sure, yeah. Cheers. Thanks very much.